Any questions before we start? Yeah, we will start today SQL cell, right? Yeah, we'll be starting with the basics of SQL. Yes. And one thing like we will be doing on Oracle apps tables only SQL and PL SQL. Yes. See, understand this particular thing again. Hmm. We just need to understand the concepts. OK, and you should be understanding yes. concepts such a way that you can apply anywhere. Whether it's Oracle ERP table, non Oracle ERP table. The basic reason why I'm telling this one because in the general real time environment. So hmm. it is not that every Oracle ERP customer or maybe as a developer, maybe you belong to an Oracle ERP like a, you will you will be working in Oracle ERP project, but there are chances you may work, you may be working on a pure custom module development also. OK, mm -hmm. so of course we'll deal the Oracle ERP tables, but why I'm telling this one because you may get a requirement to integrate your Oracle ERP with some other non ERP stuff, right? So in those kind of scenarios, mm -hmm. so whenever you learn anything, don't be, you know, like a, confined to a specific thing. Always be generic. Understand the concepts. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. OK, fine. We'll try to do that also. Yes. Yeah, so before that, OK, let's directly get into what we'll discuss today okay okay so as of now we know what is database right database is a software to store data yes and database supports CRUD operations so this is relevant yes. to data only we are all just talking about data yes. create read update and delete yes. okay and why do we use database why can't we use a file system and all those things it's we don't want to discuss much on the database stuff all, our concentration is on the SQL part now okay so yes. what is SQL SQL stands for structured query language okay so we have a database which stores the data now we need some programming language so that you know we can efficiently store the data as well as efficiently retrieve also because it is not just about day it is not just about storage right you can't just dump everything into your house and if you don't if you can't retrieve what is the important stuff then it's, there is no need to maintain right so that is what the, yes. que the query language is all about so you it will allow you to store data in appropriate manner and also it allows you to retrieve the data in appropriate manner okay and we know what yes. is data right the data is nothing but raw facts it is not information process data is called information it's data is nothing but raw fact because by just as a business user that see there is a different so when you see some particular object it all depends upon the point of view nothing but how do you analyze that isn't it now let us yes. say as a developer if you see the table definition you you are very much clear about what is table but as a business user if you tell me this is a table this is a set of records this is a set of columns i will not have any idea because what i'm what i'm interested is in in the process data nothing but if you show me a balance sheet a report then i can clearly understand so that's how it is always depends depends yes. so data is raw fact and a report or maybe in easier terms information is nothing but processed data okay it's like yeah. nothing but getting a juice from a fruit yes well structured data yeah no database this particular database which we are using is a structured data so if you there's a difference yeah. between here so be clear on this rdbms the relational yeah. database management system and the oracle database which we are using is will store data in a structured manner and if you are coming from yes. The big data background or maybe a mongodb a columbo database they are all unstructured data okay okay that's the difference because this unstructured unstructured data comes into picture when you are trying to retrieve the information from different sources like a social media or maybe some other uh, what you say some other non non database stuff something like that yes okay? so this is all big data stuff yeah anyways now coming to our database like so in SQL like a it's a programming language it may not have all the programming flavor but it's one of the you can consider it as a very minimal programming language it's a query language you are specially telling now the purpose yes. of the SQL supports 
CRUD operations, right? And again, SQL is divided into multiple set of things. And you know, people, uh, different developers or maybe different authors call it the different names, but it doesn't matter for us now, as of now. So you can ha you can consider that there are it is divided into two things. One is DDL, and other one is DML. Of course, there is something called TCL also, but you can ignore as of now. Initially, consider yes. that SQL is divided into two parts: DDL and DML. So data definition language and data manipulation manipulation language okay so nothing but to manipulate data what kind of commands we have that is a dml to define a data yes. to define the structure of the data what commands we have so coming to this one so in the data definition language it supports about creating a table structure create yes create. alter drop alter. Rename. Rename. Anything? First more? rename. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's it. Four. Right. That's it. Right. Yeah. Truncate. Truncate. Maybe either way. Some set of things. You know, like it will be. It you may have confusion that whether it comes a part of DML or some. It may comes. It it comes a part of a DDL. Don't try to analyze that. That will make more confusion. Okay. You can. I'm. I'm not sure whether truncate is a part of DDL or DML, but you can ignore as of now. And coming to DML, select, insert, update, and delete. Okay. So truncate may not be part of DDL because using truncate you're not altering the structure of a data, right? You just simply deleting it. It's auto commit. That's the extra yeah. thing. But generally, if it comes to manipulation kind of thing, truncate just manipulates the data. Nothing but it deletes the data. It doesn't alter your table structure. Okay. Yes, it deletes the data permanently. Yeah. As of now, we can consider this way. DDL and DM. Yeah. Okay. Now, hmm. so we'll start with the select stuff. Okay. We'll try to start hmm. with the select query. Hmm. So like as any as any like uh, generally in any programming language you always have keywords, right? And it's set of semantic yes. rules, semantic or a syntax rules, right? So like uh, when you're yes. learning some language, you also need to know what are the keywords and what is the structure we have to write it. Nothing but let us say if you're learning English, first of all you have to know alphabets, then you have to know the sentence construction, yes. right? Then grammatical rules. Yes. The same thing applies in the in general IT programming software programming language also now the basic structure of select query initially we are trying to understandable select query concept not about manipulating or deleting data our concentration now is on the retri retrieval purpose first okay yes so now the select the total syntax I'll try to tell you total syntax at a stretch now so select yeah here we'll just mention column names okay from yes Sometimes these particular keywords, what I mentioned here in the capital letter, they also call we generally call this clauses. Select clause, from clause. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And now from table name. Table name. Okay. A number of names. Yes. Table names. Yes. Okay. Then yeah. followed by where. Okay. Group by. This is a clause. Yes. Having and order by. Having. So okay. of yeah. course there are some other extra things also, but basically. 70% of the chances you'll be using only these things. There are some other clauses like a with clause or you know, like okay. a partition by in right? is an operator, right? Yeah, that is different again. Okay, okay. Okay, so you can ignore as of now these all analytical queries, but the basic select query structure is this one select from where group by and having the basic select query always require select as well as from clause. The basic select query always require select and from clause without having from clause your select will not work. Okay, without select having query. select your from yeah. will not work. Okay. Now let us just deal uh, some basic set of queries and then we can again discuss. Okay. Sure. Sure. And when you are working with the database, so we require a tool, right? So now let us say we have a database because there should be some interface Right, there should be mediator or interface which allows us to connect to a particular, particular uh, like uh, now. Let us say I'm a developer. I want to work on Oracle database. So Oracle doesn't Oracle database doesn't know me. I doesn't know Oracle database. But there should be mediator which allows us to perform a communication. So this particular tool, yeah. Oracle SQL Developer, is a tool, and generally we call yeah, it which as which will help you communicate the database. Yeah. 
we always we just call them as IDEs, Integrated Development Environment. Yes. So a SQL developer is from Oracle company. OK, this is a free tool. Yes, free tool. OK, Toad is from the Dell company. OK, this is a proprietary tool. OK, paid, I can say paid tool. Oh. And of course, there are some other tools which are available, but generally these are the famous yeah. tools we we generally use it most of the times. And yes. functionality wise, let us say, let us say some companies doesn't provide Toad because it's a it's a pay tool, right? So yes. 90 percent of the functionality which is available in Toad will be available in SQL Developer. But generally, if yes. you consider the performance, Toad is very much faster. Toad is very much faster. Okay. SQL Developer little bit yeah. slow comparatively. Okay. Okay. Some developers who are comfortable yeah. with the Toad find difficult in SQL Developer. It is vice versa also. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Right. Right. Now the first thing is now I have connected to database. So first thing is like you have to understand like when you're working with the database database is a software and this runs in a particular yes. port because if you want to communicate something let, let us say you have mobile number you have a mobile phone and if you want to communicate if you want to talk to your brother you have to know what is your brother phone number right and now in the same way if I want to connect to database I have to know where database is running without knowing where database is running how can I connect it right let us say you, you'll say that you have a sim card you have a phone but until unless you do until unless you don't know your destination number it cannot connect so now this particular mm -hmm. software Oracle is a software product which runs on an application server if you remember our last climb class application server is a runtime environment for your programming program it's a runtime environment yes yes so generally Oracle yes. database runs in a particular software port 1521 this can be changed also ideally it is it should this number is 1521 but sometimes it depends upon the environment the DBS will change it. Okay. And the other thing is you'll have mm. a host name. Nothing but what is the name? What is the destin what is the name which you allocated for your environment? Okay. These are two important parameters. Yes. And then username and password. Okay. Even service, yes, yes. Yes, service name. Yes. Yeah. That is also that will also will be there. Service name. Okay. Yeah. These these few things which are very much important for connecting database. Okay. And you can observe those information yes. here. Right click here. You can see the properties. My yeah, host name every, is. Every. Yeah. This is my connection name. It's a user defined name. Yeah. And my username is apps. Password is apps. Host name is glo.dev.com. Port is 1521. Yeah. SID is VIS. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, let me increase the font. It is already. Yeah, big. Okay. The first thing I want to find out is what is the version of database which I'm using. So I'll just prefer to that validate that select start from V dollar instance. Okay, the database version which I'm using is 111070. Okay. Okay. SQL developer version. Not SQL developer. It is database application database. database. Yeah, yeah. Not application database. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, database, database. To find out yeah. your ERP version, you will find you will have some other tables. Okay, this is database stuff. Okay. Okay, right, right. V instance, V dollar yeah. instance. Yeah, V is my instance name, host name, right? Now, yeah. Yes. Come to next thing. Now let us say we'll just write simple query. Assume that we want to retrieve all the purchase orders which are available in my instance. So what is the query we write? If I want to retrieve all the things without having any filter criteria, I can simply mention select. Okay. Star yes. from, from Evo headers, Evo all. headers, headers all. Okay. So now here select yes. select is a for select. We use a select clause to show what we want and from a is nothing but from where you want from Pivo yeah. table. We are selecting that. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. Select is for the purpose of selecting columns and from is for the purpose of selecting the source. Okay, you have a source, but you don't want to show all the columns. Then you have to make you have to change the select clause. If you mention star star, okay, asterisk, what happens is whatever the columns which are available in the pivot header all table, all the columns will get shown. Okay, select star mm -hmm. from pivot header all. Right? It will show all the data. Now let us say if you want to, if you have a requirement to show only few columns, then what you can do? Select pivot header ID org ID and then segment one and people headers all 
then you will show only three columns yes okay now one basic thing here now let us say if i mention pivot header id comma pha dot star from pivot headers okay now will it work uh, it will not work why uh, because for pha we did not define an alias name for the table name okay this is table alias okay now will it work yeah will uh, it work wait yeah it will be working but for pivot header id we have not mentioned right the table alias mm, just a second dot yeah we have to mention over there also pha dot po header id okay it is not mandatory if it, there is a single table and if that column is available okay. in only unique stuff it will work oh it will work okay okay yeah. yes okay if you are using multiple tables then we have to assign for particular columns for their alias names right again it is not mandatory also if that column is available only one table still it will work now just see i'll just as oh. up, up and one more table here Right. It will not, yeah. not, not give error because this PO header right oh. is available only in one table. That is the reason it, it, doesn't, table have any, it doesn't have any confusion to find yes. out from where it is. Where it is. Yes, yes. Right. Okay. <clears throat> yes, yes. <clears throat> so now let us let us try to get a clarity on jewel. Do you know what is a jewel table is about? Yes. So what is the purpose of jewel table and why do we use it? dual table it is an empty table uh, which having one row one column mm -hmm. and we will be using for the dual table to perform uh, like count functions for average minimum maximum salaries plus minus like that for that functionalities we will use dual table to perform the operations mm -hmm. the uh, analytical operations mm -hmm. okay fine so let us see the table structure first of all select start from jewel you can see the data here one column yes okay one row yeah. and if you want to yeah. see the structure you can just use desc followed by your table name desc jewel yeah which will list down all the columns which are available okay there's a column name called yes. dummy and the data type is varchar2 of size one now let us say select okay if i mention hello from dl this will this work Yes, it will be working and the column name represents hello world. Okay, fine. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Now one more thing. Yeah. If I mention PO headers all, will this work? Hello world from PO headers all. Yeah, it will be working. Can't it? Mm. Hello world. So how many records uh, it will display? Uh, um, total how, how many PO headers are all the in that many records will come in. So it Maybe. will display it will display hello world n number of times nothing but based on the number of records which are available in the PO headers all. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You can see this count rows. Now we have 24,400. 400. Yes. Okay. Now select PO header ID plus 10 okay from PO header all will this work mm, this will mm. Mm, header ID it's um, a number right PO header ID is a number yeah plus 10 number, is a number yes yeah it should work yeah. right simply it works okay it works. okay Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the reason I don't want to play on the Oracle ERP table first, okay? Because I just want to clear okay. out the basics. Now 10 plus 20, okay, okay. 1 minus 11 minus 10, 10 into 90, okay? 1 by 5, 0 by 0, okay? 1 by 0 hmm. from EMP, okay? Will this work? EMP is a table which is available in my database, okay? Database, yes. Yeah, but this query will work or not? 
this query and if it works how many columns and how many rows it will display one two three. 14 rows and one two three four five six row columns will be coming on what basis you're telling 14 rows emp table having 14 rows but in my system it may be different okay, just just a, just a minute yes Mm. Okay. One row, one co six columns. Okay, let's see. So it's saying divisor by yeah, equal to zero. Sorry. Equal to zero. Yeah, okay. that one, the fifth one. So this yeah. is not working. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try again. Again, one more issue, right? Zero by zero is also not working, right? Mm -hmm. Got it. Yes, yes, yes. Zero by zero and one by zero will be not working. Twelve rows. Okay. In my system, I just not yeah. So now well, here, let us say instead of EMP, if I mention DL, what will happen? Only one row will be coming. One row and how many columns? And uh, four columns. Okay. Yeah. So now. Why I'm telling this one because in a select query you can perform expression. We can perform mathematical mm. computation. Okay, that's the reason I'm telling. Mm. You. Now okay. there is one more thing. So we have to have a clarity on select clause and from clause first before entering to where clause. Yeah. Yeah. Now Select one plus none. Okay. So now, how many columns and how many rows? None is an empty first of all. Hmm. Will this query works or not? It will be working. I think it will be showing one error. One by null and null by one, maybe in that. Let's see. One run. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So one plus null. Why it is null? One plus null is null. Why? Mm. And null is one of the mostly used functionality in the database. And this is where we yes. get a lot number of issues. Generally, like when we design reports, we'll get a yes. number of uh, function uh, stuff like errors or bugs or enhancement because of null. Yes, yes. No, to represent uh, to like how I should say. What is null actually? What do you understand by it's null? It's a keyword. It's a keyword. Oh. Boss, it is not a keyword. Keyword, okay, it's a keyword. I agree, but actually, in a data, can in a data, a, if you consider a data wise data scenario, what it is, what it is. To uh, to uh, like uh, when. Um, no, not that way. See, observe this. Now let okay. us say I have oh, okay. comma null. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this is not X. This is a dummy, right? Yeah. Now, what is the difference between 10 X and null? Tell me. Ten, null and dummy. Ten X, ten null X. Yeah, ten. Null. Ten is a number. Ten is a number. X is a. X is a character. String. Yes. Right. And what is null? Yes. yes. What, what is null? Because if you see the representation here, simply they are showing it as a column, right? Yes, column. I have me. nothing but I have three values. You can say that like I have a single record with three values, and one value is number, yes. one value is character, and what is null? Mm -hmm. Null does null belongs to any data type? No. Okay. Then what is null here? Mm -hmm. Null is a keyword. That is that is okay. What is next? It is a uh, null. Null is a keyword, okay, and yeah. and it is not a data type, okay. It is not a data type, yeah. right? And what is more, what's yeah. more, null is a empty value. 
empty value empty value yeah. non comparable non comparable to any other value yes if you compare null with any value it will be null that's it simple not that's the reason yes. that's the reason in our expression null with anything is always null null yes okay so this yes, is what yes. null about <clears throat> now one simple example i'll like to play with the empty table now okay so mm -hmm. this particular thing you can apply to any table now mm -hmm. if you see observe here the empty table i have set of employees and there are mm -hmm. some particular employees who doesn't have commission okay and okay so let us consider only on commission part now as of now so i have some set of employees okay. for whom there is no commission okay now what i want to do is i want to calculate new i want to calculate i nothing but i want to increase increase the exit the present commission from increase the present commission to 10 percent nothing but plus 10 per, plus 10 simple just okay. not, not to have more computational stuff let us say whatever the value is there i just want to add a plus 10 that's a new commission okay now i okay. want to display emp number e name okay old commission this is my old commission and the yeah. new commission should be commission plus 10 this is my new commission 10 yeah okay now yeah do you think there is any Through issue me. in this particular table okay no. let me run the query and then i'll ask you again now here as per my logic let us say if some employee is not having any commission at all do you think that i have to mm. ignore the commission for that guy if you see no for this adams and james the commission is null but as per my yes. business requirement whether you have a commission or not it doesn't matter but i want to increase your new commission by 10. yes so as per the business this is a false right yes so how do we solve this one okay for to those null employees also you should be uh, able to add 10 percent right 10 yeah it doesn't 10. yeah obvious yes so how do we do it mm -hmm. this is a general requirement uh, okay again plus 10 now it becomes null only mm -hmm. okay so understand these kind of things like mostly you'll come across these particular functionality in in real time most of the times okay Okay, when you are comparing a values, when you are joining the tables, always observe whether you have a null in that. If you have a null in a particular table, if you join, simply it will fail. Have a very much clarity okay. on that. Now, okay. first, before getting deeper in this one, understand this. Okay. Now, let us say, hmm. Hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Any expectation on the result? What do you get? Uh, here we will be getting hello world will be printed, mm -hmm. and here angle of none comma first. The so expression one is zero, then it print first. Uh, here it will be printing first and here it will be printing hello world and first and second second not null yeah it will be printing hello world first and second second not null see hello world first first and, and second that's okay. it okay and what is the functionality of nvl what is nvl first of all nvl uh, like if the first expression is zero that is okay one see it you're telling me the mm -hmm. functionality i'm not asking about the functionality what is nvl mm -hmm. what is nvl null value fun null value what is nvl mm -hmm. if someone asks you nvl what do you say null value what is the data type of what is the object type of nvl Object type. Yep. Null only. Null is not a data type. Just now we discussed. Yeah. Null is an empty value. Non-existence of value is called null. Non. Yes. Mm. What is NVL? NVL is a function, right? NVL is a function. Yes. Function. This, is what, this is what you have to tell. 
NVL is a function. NVL. And if someone asks you what is the functionality of NVL, then you have to explain if first expression is null, it will display second expression. If first expression is not null, it will display first expression. Simple. First expression. Okay. NVL of expression, expression yeah. two. If expression one is not null, display expression one. Else, expression two. That's it. Two. Yes. Now. It's a function. So, now coming to here, that is the reason it got displayed in this manner. Now, using NVL function, we can solve this particular thing. Just observe here. Yes, we can. NVL of if commission for the exist, if commission is already null, what do we want to do is we just want to display zero. Zero, yes. Plus, plus 10. 10, yeah, okay. plus 10. Commission, new commission. With NVL. With with NVL, yes. That's it. Now it will be printing. No. Yes. It's all. Yes. Okay. This is how you have to use NVL. Mm. Okay. Now, okay. Now there is a little bit tricky part now. Mm. Now assume that, and uh, like as per the organization design, they want what they want to do is, if an existing employee is not getting any commission, okay. I want to award 25% extra to them plus new commission 10% nothing but if if the existing employees have it doesn't have any commission the total value he should be getting is 35 and if it's an existing if an existing employee is already having commission it should be plus 10 and if else it should be 10 to 5 plus 10 yeah okay how do we solve it do you think using a sql query can solve this requirement yeah, we will. If an existing employee is not getting any commission, I want award. I want to award yeah, twenty five plus ten. Else plus ten only. Okay, just see this. Hmm. There is a there is a variation of NVL function. There is on one other one called NVL two. Okay, in this three expression will be there, right? Yes, three expression. Okay, okay. Yes. that's only difference. Okay. Just observe this directly. Okay. You'll understand NVL two. Hmm. Null. Okay, I'll just say hmm. expression two, expression three, three, NVL two. Hi, hello, world. Okay, hmm. that's it. So in first case, so it always it all. This NVL2 functionality always depends upon your first expression. If first expression is null, it will simply go to the last part, else part. If first expression is not okay. null, it will go to second expression. Okay. Okay. Now, hmm. the existing query, I'll just copy this. Now, what I'll do is, so I'll just remove this also. I'll just say with NVL2. Now, yeah. So using NVL2, if first expression is null, if first expression is null, I require total three expression, right? If first expression is yes. null, I want to award extra 15%, right? 15 or how much? Yes. 25, sorry. 25. Yeah. First expression is null, I want to award 25%. If first expression is not null, there should not be any change to the existing commission. That's it. Again, oh, yes. commission. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, what is missing expression here? 59 column 36. Yeah, two commas. That's the issue. Yeah. Can you see? Yes. 35. 35. Okay. It's solved. Hmm. So this is how we have to have a clarity on the NVL and NVL2. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So I'll tell one more thing. And we'll get into where clause. Okay. So this is EMP table. Now assume that due to some change in the business, wherever the dip, wherever the job type is salesman, I want to change it as helper. And remaining places I don't want to change. Okay. Requirement is okay. wherever the job type is salesman, I want to change this to helper. And remaining cases it should be same remaining cases 
it should be same okay yeah do you are you aware of decode yeah a little bit okay no problem select emp number e name so this is my existing job and new job yes. what i want to do is i want to use a decode decode okay. if job type if job type is salesman i want to change it to mm -hmm. helper else no mm -hmm. change that's it decode decode will have a decode is nothing but your source if condition and value that is how it works mm -hmm. the decode in the decode first thing is your condition nothing but source if source result result one okay okay if i can say if two if two result two so on so forth and finally if not finally the default value finally the default value this is how it works okay. now if job okay. is salesman i'm displaying helper if job doesn't belong to salesman simply go to default nothing but job display the existing job yeah okay and it says somewhere the mistake invent per job what's a sorry so it's not jewel right that's emp jewel so emp got it so wherever salesman it is simply displaying helper that's it helper and this is used in most of your reports most of the times yes. when we work on the reports what we do is we always need to display some value like in the database you'll have some value but for the representation purpose we want to display some other value yes okay so that's how we can use the decode functionality now coming to so now we have got got an idea where to use select i mean what is the purpose of select and from clause right a basic idea yes okay yes. so shall we go to where clause or do you have any doubts once uh, tell me about the nvl2 also once again once okay hot let us say i'll consider our names okay now hmm. select nvl2 of okay hmm. nvl2 of see there okay hmm. okay okay hmm. okay hmm. let's see the result first now in the first one what it is doing the first see it nvl2 works on always the first expression always validate the first expression if first expression is uh, not null it will simply directly go to the third expression Okay, first expression is not null. It will be going to third expression. No, no, no. Second expression. If first expression second is not null, yes. yeah. If first null. expression is not null, not null, then yeah. it will go to second expression. And if first expression yes. is null, it will go to third expression. Third expression. Yes. Okay. And now in this last yeah. case, first expression is not null. What it will do? It will simply go to the second expression. Okay. Again, you can see. And if third expression yeah if third expression null then no problem it will come to the no it will it will be null that's it now if first expression is null okay. right it has to go to third expression mm -hmm. third expression is null right now here i'll just in the second yeah. expression i'll just display okay mm -hmm. just see this okay null it will just simply always work on the first expression if first expression is null go to third if first expression is not null go to second first expression if null it is go to second right if first expression is null it will go to third expression first no, is null no 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 observe okay. the result. observe the result if first expression mm -hmm. is null it will go to third else okay that's it good okay right right one three two okay if one yeah, is yeah, null one, go three, to three two, yeah. else two and if three is okay right right it doesn't matter what is three yeah if you still again if you write one more in one more function inside that again is a different story if you write nvl okay. of 2 again nvl of 2 that's a different story but this is how okay. it goes hmm. okay yes yes yeah i will continue 
yeah and now next thing is where clause so yes select column is select clause is for the purpose of selecting columns from clause is for the purpose of the source of data right and now where yes. clause is to filter filter the rows not columns okay filter the rows yeah okay now assume that let us say i want to like uh, when i retrieve my purchase order data i would like to display all this particular purchase order which belong to a particular organization it is 204 what i will do where org id equal to 204 204 right so now what yes. is happening pivo header all yeah header all and one more thing you can observe here like when you are writing something and if you are oracle engine doesn't understand nothing but your parser so when you write a query first of mm -hmm. all before hitting the database a parser will validate nothing but whatever you write is correct or not it will validate the yes. grammatics of that it will validate the gram grammar of that then only it will execute it because until unless your yeah. grammar doesn't validate it cannot hit the database yes so generally based on the error also we can always try to find out what is the issue it is it is clearly telling that table or view does not exist and why it is telling table or view because in the from clause at any point of time you can mention only either table or a view there is no other thing you can mention yes. in the from clause yes right yes yes yeah. okay now if you if you don't mention the where clause it would have been displayed 24000 but now let's see what is the number of records it is just 4000 initially it was 24 now it is just 4000 okay assume that you have one more requirement that we want to display those particular purchase order which belong to 204 and also which are of standard purchase orders then what we have to do yeah we just need to mention you have to and and type uh, type a code single quotation standard yeah so why do you, we have to mention single quotes here it is a character yeah so whenever you are working with the character or dates always mention in a single quotes okay yes so now can yes. we write a query can we write a query which will uh, which are created after 2017 uh, sorry 2016 i mean to say i think but we want to retrieve hmm. retrieve all the pivots all the pivots yeah. which are created which are created in the current year i don't want to mention it as 2017 understand here i don't want to mention yeah, okay. it as 2017 i want to consider whenever i run the report it has to display only pivots in that year let us see if i run yes. in 2018 assume that in the next year we are working mm -hmm. and when i run the report at that time mm -hmm. that point of time it has to consider the current year how do you get the current yes yes how do you get the current year current year Mm. Do you know sys date? Yes, sys date I know. Okay, fine then. So sys date is one of the global function or a global variable which is available or a pseudo column, whatever it is. It is available which will yes. retrieve you the current system date. But will it re will it give time also? Sys date? Yeah. Yeah, sys date will not give the time. Are you sure? Yes. Shall I retrieve time from this? Sys date. Hmm? to care no yeah if you have to mention sub particularly like this then only it will be showing yes but but still without sub, if you are okay i'll still show you that that's that's not because of your database it is because mm -hmm. of your tool acha okay now if i mention here if you are mentioning it will be coming okay that's a difference okay yes yeah. yes yes so don't get confusion with this one but generally sys date will have date and time okay but when you create yes. data type when you create any variable of data type date it simply you will mention date you will not mention date and time okay and if you want to know the time zone there is something called sys time stamp sys time stamp which will the difference is it will show you microseconds and also it will show you time stamp nothing but time zone i mean time zone right now india works in ist 530 right uh, what you say gmt 530 we call it as india yes. time zone is gmt 530 hmm. 
okay yeah so now anyways our concentration is our concentration is on how do you get the current year right so simply i'll mention yes what i can do 2 underscore car sys date and can i mention like this that's it right 2007 yeah, like, yeah. now i got the current date now i got the current year yes so simply i can mention yes. like this right so let's start yes. from pivo headers all where where yeah. segment 1 i want to get That's all the pivo number. i want to get all the purchase okay. orders which are created in the current year where current year 2 underscore car creation date right oh yeah creation date sorry yeah creation date is equal yes. to 2 underscore car sys date comma right so generally 2 underscore car yes. will work sometimes in the worst case if it gives error better to convert to 2 underscore number 2 underscore number okay yeah, yeah. okay so now here this gives mm. you all the purchase orders which are created in the current year yes 386 rows 386 rows and someone yeah. says that they want to find out how many purchase orders which are created per month they just want to display month and display the number number so here so far this is okay okay we'll better okay yeah. before getting into group by let us clear where class okay yeah yeah yes yes so in the where clause, what all you can mention? So where clause is for the purpose of filtering the rows, okay? Yes. And you can when you have something called you know and condition or condition, you can mention in condition, condition, right? Condition. You can mention yes, like, yes. Like any other between. Any other yeah, between it's for the purpose of range. Yes. Mm, and or in like between. Exists. Yeah, exist okay so generally you know like uh, if you have a confusion in the exist you simply can use in some you know, like even i feel confusion using exist i prefer to use in of course there is a performance uh -huh. criteria will come into picture but that all depends upon the table which you're working on if the table is very much huge and then you have to be very much carefully designed the query if it's a normal table yes we can go with in clause in clause okay in or anything more of course not in also not i can say rather than not in not i'll just say okay so yeah. let's see here yeah. if sometimes if you have a requirement to mention mention a set right you know set right set is nothing but group of values of same data type yeah yes okay nothing but let us say you want to find out the details of three employees then what you can do you can mention select start from emp where emp number in 101 102 103 this is set we call it as yes yeah this is the purpose of using in clause and sometimes yeah. if you want to display all the values except those particular set of values then you can use not in not in not in yeah right now yes. the purpose yeah. of and or or you have to be very much clear now let us say if i want to retrieve all the employees who belong to job job clerk okay or department number mm -hmm. 10 now what is it what will happen actually here so let's start from mp the job clerk or department number 10 it will be seeing the data uh, like it will be retrieving the data mm -hmm. in the department number department number 10 who having the job clerk here i mentioned condition as or not and there is a difference between and and or right it, it, it will check yeah it will check uh, either one of the condition who will like, yes. satisfies yeah either one should be satisfied right that's the difference yeah yes yeah, yes yeah. now i got here if you see here here all the department there are 40, uh, like a few employees which are with the department 10 only one condition is satisfied then, but here if you see for yeah. those particular employees the value is clerk right at least yes. one condition at least one condition should be satisfied that is for satisfied, that is yeah. r and if you mention and so in this case if we mention it's, and do you think we'll get any data will we should get only one record one record only yes only the last record miller yeah miller one if you mention and yeah yeah right because it's it's to satisfy both the conditions yeah 
so this is the purpose of or and and again you know you can mention those in a, like a, let us say and in that and again you can mention multiple conditions and here let us say job should be clerk okay now what i'll do is job should be clerk and and department department should be in a belonging to a particular thing what i can mention and department is equal to 10 or department is equal to 30 will this work Job department number ten and thirty. Hmm? Mm. Yeah, it will be working. Again, one record only will be coming. Sorry, department. Oh, sorry. No, it's a column issue. Correct. Column. Right. We got one more record now. Yeah. Well, yes. Because uh, clerk should be satisfied. The first condition should be satisfied, and the second condition, what yes. I mentioned, I mentioned or right. So at least one should be true. Yeah. It should be either ten or it should be thirty. 30 right yes so this is nothing but equivalent to so when we have confusion about our condition what i prefer to do is just mention in clause you will not have any confusion at all yeah that's the best thing in 10 comma 20 that's enough it. 10 comma 20 that's it very simple very easy sorry here we mentioned 30 right either way yeah so if you consider the second yes. one, uh, like the first one is quite a little bit, you know, like confusion kind of thing. But second one is pretty easy to understand. Yes. Okay. And most probably, we, yeah, 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 continue, continue. Go ahead. In in operate only, we'll be using many of the, like writing the ex extraction queries for the report developing. Yeah, obviously, like you see, it depends upon developer interest, sometimes performance. It all depends upon the practice. In this use, yes, mostly, yes. yeah, of course, in is used. <clears throat> okay. Yes, continue. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so where clause, so where clause is done, I think. We again we'll come across once we get into more also. But as of now, the basic level, I think, we are okay, right? Okay. Yeah. Shall we go ahead with the group group by or? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we will go ahead with the group. Right? Okay, so now just now we discussed about displaying the purchase order which are creating a particular date, right? Now, so, yes. so what is the purpose of group by? Before getting deeper, what is the purpose of group by and why do we use it? Uh, like group by mm -hmm. uh, is. Um, um, it combines the rows into group based. Uh, and, yeah, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and also for the matching values in specified columns. Okay. So it's all about aggregation of data, we call it as aggregating, nothing but grouping the data. Right? Yeah, most of, yeah, we will be using an aggregate functions like min, max, average, sum or count. Yeah. That we will be using group by mostly. Yeah. Now let's just see this one. So the same purchase order example. So this was giving all the data which is given in a current year, right? Now the requirement was to display the number of, uh, like using group by what we want to do is, we want to display, we want to display the number of number of records are created in a current year in current month so we know what yes. is the year right we'll ignore about year as of now but for each month we want to display mm -hmm. the number of records number of purchase orders for each month yes so now i'll just remove star and i'll just mention count of star what will happen now it will display total number of records created in a current year okay current year yes so but the requirement was to display in a particular the month also, order. in each month also. Yes, but yes. Right? So now what I can do here, I need to display month, Comma. right? I need to display month. Yes. I can just simply month. display two underscore care of, right? So I can, either, I can mention sys date comma mm, right? Either it should be work because anyway, we already mentioned in our where class. That's the reason I directly mentioned this date. Or what I can do, I can mention creation date rather than this one. Okay. So will this work? 
Yes. It says not a single group by definition. Uh, uh, because uh, select. Oh, yeah, we have not mentioned a group by. Okay. Yeah. So it is giving error. Okay. I agree that this query is not valid. But why it is not valid? Tell me that first. Why it is not valid? Why why can't the system doesn't understand this? What is the reason? Not a single group function. Hmm. We are retrieving. And we are not defining uh, in a condition like so like uh, mm -hmm. then we are selecting two columns like uh, one is to creation date of month mm -hmm. and count of star mm -hmm. but we are not uh, giving uh, the particular column with whom we have to retrieve the data like we are you have to use a group by clause over here okay correct so now let us well, I'll tell you again like I'll just add up mm -hmm. so assume that mm -hmm. you have a you have 100 employees okay yeah, and uh -huh. each employee belong to a particular group. Nothing but department. Yes. I mean, there are 100 employees. Each employee belongs uh -huh. to a particular department. Okay. Now your requirement yes. was to display the number of employees in a given department. So yes. what are what are we doing is like uh, we are simply mentioning in a select clause nothing but in the output I want in the output I want to display department followed by count. But you're applying count. Yeah. You're you're applying count on all the group. But in the output you're select you're mentioning that each department. So that is where the confusion is. Yes. So the system is not understanding how to apply the count because the count can be applied on only one group at a time. So if you mention something yes. in a select clause, what happens is it is assuming that like a like a, you already have a group of data you it want to display, but now count cannot calculate that because you have not grouped the data properly. Yes. So that is why it is telling that not a single group until unless it is a, it is until unless your data is in a grouped manner you cannot apply the aggregate function. Okay, but one more one more clarity is when I mentioned directly count. Why did it work now? Let us say in this case it is not working, but when I mentioned count yes. directly, why did it work because there in that particular stuff like uh, nothing but the earlier query. I'll just mention again in the earlier query. If I mentioned if I remove two underscore car, it worked directly. It did not give any error even though if I not mention group by it worked directly. Why because Whatever the data which is getting from your from clause, it hmm. group to it it automatically groups into single data because you have not mentioned yes. any any select clause there. If you mention select, then yeah. the grouping comes into picture. It will validate the groups also. If you don't mention anything yes. in the select clause, it will consider it as a single group. Single group. Because you're you're simply you're simply saying all the data. You have not mentioned any group there. Yes. But in yes. this case, it requires a group by until unless you group with the data, the aggregate function will not work. So I just need to mention group by two underscore care sure, sure. creation date creation. Comma, mm mm right no yes yeah we are grouping with that column yeah or maybe I can mention group by order by one Ca uh, order by one yeah like one two, two, three, four, order four five one. six seven one, eight, one. nine Le eleven yeah yes yeah, yeah so there are no records in a September, October. There are no records in October. Yes. Okay. So this is how we can use a group by. Oh. And of course, there are many variations. There are many places where you can still use it. Nothing but let us mm -hmm. say someone says in a given month, how many standard, how many standard purchase order created, how many, what you say, the blanket purchase orders, right? If you have some more requirement, what you can do, you can just simply mention type lookup code, right? One more column. One more column okay. mention, right now if your requirement mm -hmm. is in a given month how many standard purchase orders how many blanket purchase order if you have if you have go on if you're having something like that what you can do you just mention type lookup code right code. and then mention yes. the same column in the group by also yes okay yeah missing expression uh, missing expression and this comma extra comma yes like this Yes. Oh, okay. In the mid January. Okay. Hmm. Observe here one more thing. I'll uh, copy hmm. the same query. Hmm. So here, I'll not mention this. In the group okay. by in the group by I mentioned type lookup code, but in the select query I have hmm. not mentioned that. Will this hmm. query works or not? Uh, it will not work. Are you sure? Yes. 
okay observe this mm, no it is just syntax error let me clear see okay just see now it is working. working yeah it works ah, it works it works but the thing is can you see the grouping it is still grouping the data yeah. based on what you mentioned the group by class yes okay but the column we have missed that right the column we missed it now it is grouping according to the group by data whatever you mentioned yes okay this is a difference okay. so mm -hmm. if you want to apply group by what I mean to say mm -hmm. is like whatever like whatever you mention in select clause, they have to be available in a group by, but whatever you mention in a group by need not be available in select clause. That's what I want to say. Okay. Okay. If you mention something mm -hmm. in a select clause, that has to be in a group by if you're using group by clause. If something is mm -hmm. available in a group by, it doesn't mean it should be available in select. Select clause, yes. Okay. So that's the difference. Yeah. Yes. Group by order and so yeah final we'll get into having also hmm. having clause now let us say assume that like uh, we want to find out what is the topest or maybe let us say you want to find out all those months where the number of purchase orders created are greater than 25 you want to find hmm. out all the months in a given year where the number of purchase orders created are greater than 25 okay, okay. What do we can do? So first thing is, first basic thing is having clause should be applied. Will can be applied only when you have a group by. Without yes. having group by, without group, yeah, cannot apply. It. Yeah, I'll validate that also here. Okay. We will remove this type lookup code. Yeah. Okay. Group by having count of star mm -hmm. greater than twenty five. That's it. Right. Okay. So in these three five months, in these five months, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry. In these six months, you have the number of people greater than twenty-five. Okay. So mm -hmm. hiring is nothing but let us say you have hundred employees, and you want mm -hmm. you have already found that in each department how many employees are there, but in the output you want to mm -hmm. display only those employees who are who are having the like let us who are having the salary greater than particular criteria what you do is once you have the group then only you can apply the having right that's the reason having should be used yes. having can be used only after group by yes uh, one more important thing is what is the difference between having clause and where clause where clause will get applied on each and every record but having clause will be yes. applied under the group data that's the difference group. having is also filled yes. having can having clause is also filtering stuff but here having will get applied only on, on the group of data but where will be applied on the record level data yes okay yes select count of star mm -hmm. from emp having count of star greater than 10 Without having, without group also having is working, right? Hmm. <laughs> but don't get confused and don't use this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't use this yeah. one. And it's a meaningless yeah, query, of... but it's logically it correct. <laughs> yes. There is no need of this one. I think but... it... Yeah, tell me. I think I, I think only the count of star is coming. That is okay. Count of star is working. Count of star is coming, but, but is... we are able to apply having Me right without group by. Without group, it is a meaningless. That's what I want to show you. Yes. Count of star is 12. <laughs> and now, what? I, why I'm telling this one? Because it is actually, actually, it is a correct. It's actually uh, like a C. It's not that it's a, it's a bug. Mm. You have to understand carefully. Mm. It is not a bug mm. because when you apply a single column, which is aggregate function in select query from EMP, what was happening? Mm. Without group by your aggregate function is working fine, right? Nothing but yes, yes. your data got into single group already. Your data got into yes. single group already. That is why having is working here. It's not that there is a bug. Having is working yes. in this scenario because your data got into single group already. That is the reason having is yes. working. Clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Single.
so this is what having is all about hmm. okay so it's all again practice you have to do i'll try to send some slides which are already available which is which are available with me just go through them again it's a repeated stuff mm -hmm. okay just go through them again you may get some clarity because i have not i have not included the what you say exist in clause or you say like um, okay. the sub query kind of thing right those things okay and joins also we have not discussed do you have yeah. clarity on joins or still any doubts in the joins i'll go through once if i have any doubt i'll ask you what we can do is like uh, tomorrow we'll have one more session on the sequel like uh, other, th other than the things what we discussed today so then we'll get more clarity okay, okay. sure sure why not share me yes thank you so much 